Hey guys, it's Dan and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one, we're going to continue our Wild West shooting game. Let's go! So here we are, back in the Wild West. It's been a couple of weeks, but now we've managed to get back to it. And in this one, we're going to take a look at how you can wire up animations to our targets. So when you shoot a target, not only do you get the score, but you also get the an animation that plays out alongside that target as well. So to do this, we're going to break it down into a couple of steps. First one, we need a model. So I found you can find use literally any model you have uh, as long as it's got like an animation with it as well, that'll work. I've got this object here. This is my coffin with animation. If you can see here, when I press play, the little door opens and there's a skeleton inside. Anything you've got, just bring it in and this will work with the tutorial. So with this FBX, what we need to do is just make sure the animation type set to generic. And then on animation, we want to make sure we're importing the animation. And let's give it a name. Let's call it Coffin Open. Like so. And that's all good. And we'll just apply that and that'll change the name. And we are good. So next up, let's place this in our scene. I'm going to go ahead and drag in the coffin with Anim into our scene. And it's going to pop in there. And then all we need to do is place it somewhere. I'm going to put mine just in the corner over here. I'll go for the wireframe just to make sure I've got it the right way around. Yep. I. That's freaky. Right, back into shaded. So we have our FBX dropped in our scene. Now, at the moment, by default, it won't have an animator on it, or at least it hasn't in my case. So what we're going to do is create an animator. So I'm going to, I'm going to navigate to my animation folder, click on coffin, and I'm going to create an animator. Where is it? Animator controller. And we'll call this coffin with skeleton. And we'll go ahead and drag this straight on to our coffin with animation in our hierarchy. Oh. Then we need to get the animation that's associated with this object. So I'm going to go down to my FBX where we just imported that. Where it's coffin with anim. And you can see it's got a little arrow next to it. I'm going to drop that down and it's got the coffin open there. That's perfect. That's what we need. I'm going to duplicate this by hitting control D. It's going to take it and put it outside of the FBX. Now we can drag this animation and just put it in my coffin folder. So I've got the animation. It's an animation clip. And I've got my animator. So let's go ahead and open up our animator. Let's click on it. If you haven't got your animation window or animator window come up, go to window, animation, and then animator. And it's going to come up with the animator panel here. Now we don't want the animation to play as soon as the, the game runs. We're going to need to trigger it. And by default, it's just going to have an idle state where it does nothing. So I'm going to right click, go create state and empty. And we click, click on here and we'll give this a name of idle. And we can go ahead and drag our coffin open into our animator. All I'm simply going to do is right click and make a transition from idle to coffin open. And then click on coffin open, right click, make transition and put one back. It's going to come out of idle and go into coffin open and once that's played come out we're going to need to control when to fire the coffin open and to do that we're going to use a parameter so we're going to click on parameters click on the plus and we're going to make a trigger and we're going to call this shot with capital s hit enter now we need to tell idle when to play the coffin so we click on the little arrow for the transition when it's blue we want to uncheck has exit time because we want to exit out of idle whenever the parameter or the trigger shot is fired and under conditions we're going to get, click on the plus it's also get automatically going to populate for me let's put shot there so as soon as the trigger shot becomes true it's going to play the coffin open animation and then when that's finished it's going to go straight back to idle that's great that's our animator all set up let's jump back to our scene view and with coffin with animation just double check we've got the coffin with skeleton all set up there. That is set up and ready to go. Next, let's give this a target and we can wire up the target to the game object with the animation. All our targets, if you remember from our previous tutorial, are stored in our targets game object. If I go ahead and turn all these on, you'll see them. So these are our targets and we want to duplicate one of these. And let's move it over to our coffin and place it so it looks like they are together. A little bit of rotation. Bring it forward. So this target, once we shoot this target, we want the coffin to open. And 
from our previous lessons, when we created our targets, we created the target script. Now this is what, this is the like the meat and potatoes of this tutorial. This is where it's, the magic is going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and open this target script and see what we need to tweak. Let's go ahead, double click, open up Visual Studio. So here's what we've been working on throughout the course of this tutorial. No, I don't want to upgrade. And if you remember, this is all controlled using an interface I target. So once the target is shot, then the shot method is fired. And this is where everything was happening. This is where we were telling the game manager about our score and we were displaying our canvas from the previous one. But you might have noticed that I've had the play animation method always commented out. That's because up until now, we haven't had any animations to play. So I'm going to uncomment the play animation method. If you haven't got this line, then just go ahead and create a play animation method just like I have here on line 49. And then the play animation is, for, in my case, one line. It's got public void, play animation, and it's using the expression body. It's going to access the animator, which is a variable we have up here, which is our linked animation, which we'll set in the inspector in a second. And with that animator, it's going to set the trigger shot, which is the parameter or the trigger we just made in our animator. So go ahead and put this whole line in if you haven't got it. And then as soon as this method is called, our play animation is going to fire off. But one thing to note is that at the moment we have four or five targets in our scene and not all of them have linked animators. So we're going to need to do a quick test. We're going to say if animator equals null. So if we haven't assigned one in the inspector, instead of we want to say not equals null. So if animator is not equal to null, 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 then that means we have one, we've assigned it in the inspector and we can go ahead and play the animation. So this is just going to quickly check we've actually done that. Go ahead and save. So let's hop back out into Unity. So on target four, we're going to drag in Coffin with Anim into our linked animation. Just there. So now when the target is shot, it's going to look at this animator and fire off the shot parameter. Let's dive in and see if this is all working. So I've got my gun, I'll shoot my start target. Got my little countdown. And I can go ahead and I can play. Shoot my targets as normal. Badly miss as normal. Shoot this one. Boom. Coffin opens up. And it closes again. So from here you can go ahead and add any game objects you have and link them up with a target. So that when the target is shot, it plays that animation. So hopefully that's been nice and straightforward. Not too much coding in this one. It just takes our game to the next level and now brings in that artwork and actually links it with the targets that we made previously. So some of the other animations I was thinking of having was like a barrel with uh, like a, a old fashioned water pump on it. But when it's shot, it squirts water at you using like a simple particle system. All powered through animation. But you can really go to town and create some nice animations and then and just bring them in into Unity. Just like I showed you at the start. So hopefully that's helped some of you that have been waiting for the animation section of this tutorial just to see how you can link your 3D objects and animations alongside the targets. So hopefully now you can populate your scene with cool models and animations. So a nice short one for this week. Next week I've got another cool video coming out so stay tuned for that. But until then, see you in the next one.